Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, we're going to start with uh, last, last week's news, which was huge. Uh, Simona Halep got her ban uh, taken away. She was banned for the doping incident, but now it's gone. She is able to return in Miami where she accepted a wild card. Mm. So that's good. And uh, first of all, before I continue, what are your thoughts on the return of Simona Halep? I want to ask you some questions about the ban being removed. So did the ban end? Did the suspension end or was she relieved from it? Uh, it was it was lifted, relieved. Mm. Uh, it was supposed to be until uh, October of 2026. Hmm. And now she's able to return to the uh, WTA tour immediately. Do we do we know the exact reasoning behind why it ended early? Uh, she wasn't found uh, guilty for uh, mm. the stuff that happened, and uh, the judge actually uh, ordered the WTA to pay her for her uh, attorney fees. Nice, nice. Yes. So that's that's what happened there. It's unfortunate that she's still going to miss out on all the tournament winnings or tournament loss winnings that she probably could have pocketed and made in this time. And I don't know the details of her endorsement deals, but yes. she could have been severely impacted there too. Yes, exactly. So it came out to uh, 22,000 Swiss francs. Mm. That's what she's getting for her attorney's fees. That's definitely not enough for everything else. Yes, but uh, what do you think about her return? Uh, do you expect a lot? Uh, she's playing in Miami. That's her first tournament back. Uh, very happy for her that she doesn't have her reputation tarnished, but it's unfortunate that she missed some great quality years of her career. You know, um, I think that she's definitely further from her peak than closer to it at this point. And so, you know, she she's at a loss here. You know, it's there's not much she can do about it, but just, you know, at least she didn't put that extra mileage on her body in yes. the time that she didn't play. So I'm happy to see her here. I think she got a little short changed here. I think we said last time we talked about Simona Halep, um, it's it's one of those things where we can't say too much because we don't know too much. Right. But what I can tell you I do know is a lot of these athletes are on things. I don't want to say PEDs or anything like that, but they're on things, you know, to help them stay recovered, stay physically fit for a full season, which is essentially 10 or 11 months. And... It just is unfortunate that she slipped up or made a mistake or someone made a mistake and these things went the way they went. So happy for her. Congratulations. Yes, she actually <clears throat> she actually depends a lot on her movement. Mm-hmm. Uh, she doesn't really have big strokes. Not that she uh, doesn't really overpower people, but she depends more on her footwork and movement. And that's how she beat Serena at Wimbledon. Mm-hmm. So as long as she's in shape and can someone hit the ball, mm-hmm. she'll be okay. For sure. Yeah. Uh, moving on, we're going to talk about Coco Goff. Mm-hmm. 